today, or rather tonight, at the Temecula Valley Family Fair. Families from all around the county are experiencing more than just fried calories on a stick, but a hub of culture right in their own backyards. Great job! Food, fun, Ferris wheels. Do these enticing aspects of American pastimes spell out Temecula's new perfect trifecta? Perhaps only time will tell. With the first annual Temecula Valley Family Fair officially wrapped up, the successful numbers it brought in only seemed to shine a positive light on such predictions. For one day, if not an entire weekend, the hustle and bustle of life was simultaneously put on the back burner for thousands of American families. As for one short span of time, their only priorities were to connect a little more with the cultures and activities that day-to-day -day dwellings of life tend to otherwise separate them from. From locals to tourists, adrenaline junkies to extreme foodies, the event provided what some would describe as the ultimate melting pot of human convention. Moreover, it also provided us a look into what not just Temecula Valley, but any region in the United States is truly capable of celebrating in the most magnificent of means, each other. What was your favorite ride? I know everyone has a favorite. I don't know the exact name, but it starts with a Z. It's purple. The purple one? Yeah. Okay, the purple Z? Yeah. That one's a favorite. It's really fun. It spins really fast and you turn upside down, I think. Yeah. Tonight was the first annual Temecula Valley Fair, and uh, we're wondering how you liked it and what your favorite aspect of it was. We love, we love all, all the rides, rides, and it was just really fun yeah. experience. And the food it was really yeah, nice, really good. Yeah, yes, I loved all the food. Any uh, favorite vendor around uh, partaking to the food? Mm, um, the, the the ice cream tr and the funnel yeah, cakes. Yeah, the funnel cakes and the hamburgers. <laughs> hamburgers, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's not all sweets tonight. That's good. That's good. Uh, what was your favorite uh, just ride that just kind of hit it out of the park tonight? The, the zipper. zipper. <laughs> the zipper. That was so fun. That was so we went on it like three times. It was really fun. All right, well, so far my favorite aspect of the fair was uh, your amazing ability to say words at the same time. That's incredible. And uh, I want to thank you so much for taking a moment. Uh, you know, this is the first fair that, that Temecula has had so far, and uh, it happens to be a pretty good turnout. We're uh, wondering how you liked it and what your favorite part of it was. Favorite part was... Hold on, let me think. The funnel cake. The funnel cake was amazing. That's good to hear. Amazing, amazing. How you doing? Joseph Lee here. We're out here at Temecula Park, and we're having a fun time, and this is one of our... What's your name, sir? Sterling is my name. Sterling is his name. Valley News. See, here's the thing tonight. We're having a beautiful night tonight. It's, it's very fun. Uh, we're here with Sterling. Sterling, how are you having a... What? 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 No. Fantastic. Yes, I know. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yep, that's me. Right here. It's always great. It's great. It's great, yes. Always going to be... Why does this thing smell? <laughs> It's skunk mating season. Oh, that, oh, oh okay. that's what it is. Okay. Well, yeah. We're at the Valley Zoo. <laughs> hey! You can't. Just have a fun time, really. We really are having a fun time. God bless. Bless. <laughs> Sunday, March 29th, marked the end of the first annual Temecula Valley Family Fair. Our organizers are already looking forward to playing next year's event as we speak.